mothership drones, AI drones, vertical takeoff and landing, all being engineered in back rooms by teams of international volunteers who say this is the path to victory. We're here with the Special Operations Forces who are working with international volunteers to create new types of drones, not just your standard FPV drones that we've seen, but new advanced models using different types of functions, even things like AI. And they've agreed to let us inside and show us a little bit of what they've been working on. Lewis and Tariq are both in their 20s. They've come from Ireland and the United States to help Ukraine and are preparing to show us a vertical takeoff and landing mothership drone. A vertical takeoff and landing drone, sometimes called by its acronym VTOL, takes off and lands vertically, like a helicopter. Its fixed wing structure, however, gives it all the aerial benefits of an airplane, but without the need for a runway. This drone could act as a mothership. Essentially, you put smaller quadcopters on it, you fly it out, and then you can drop the quadcopters when you're far distance. And in, in that setup, in that configuration, if you're using it as a sort of mothership, you would also have a repeater on there so that the signal is sent from your ground station to the VTOL plane, and then it's sent from the VTOL plane onto the smaller quad drones that are launching off of it. It would give us more range, which means that the drone operators can either be farther from the front line and, you know, have increased survivability, or we can continue to operate close and strike targets farther behind enemy lines. The job of a drone operator is dangerous. Positions are often targeted. The further operators can be from the front line, the higher their chances of survival. The plane itself could be 10 to 15 kilometers from the ground station, and the drones could fly another 10 to 15 kilometers from, from the plane. So we're talking 20 to 30 kilometers total range. How far close are you from something like this working? Are we talking days, weeks, months? Um, I think in the next week or two, we can get the plane like fully flying and then it would be another week or two to integrate a dropping mechanism. Dropping mechanisms are what turn these flying toys into flying killers. 3D printers are used by engineers to create the mechanisms that will hold or release explosives from the drone onto the battlefield. The engineering of vertical takeoff and landing drones comes with a unique set of challenges. It's not just about getting the drone to fly, but also figuring out how to produce it on a large scale. Almost no one in Ukraine is engaged in the development of VTOLs, as it takes a lot of time and requires a lot of resources, including knowledge and time. But with vertical takeoff and landing mother drones, we can fly much further and transmit signals much further. We can increase our distance three or four times. Here in the workshop, they're developing something that could reshape the future of drone warfare. AI-powered drones, designed to replace human operators with artificial intelligence. It will definitely be only a matter of time when we will use all drones on AI or in semi-automated mode, when part of the work is done by the operator and the other part is done by artificial intelligence. Right now, drone jammers are a big problem, preventing us from attacking the enemy. But artificial intelligence brings the drone to the target and attacks it, without relying on a signal that can be jammed. Russia's invasion has driven a global drone boom, with Ukraine leading the charge. In 2024 alone, it was set to produce over 4 million drones, reshaping warfare on land, sea, and air. I would say the most important drones in the future will be ground drones. They are already developing, but I suspect they will become key. And in their own time, they will become more important than FPVs. 
It's no secret that drones like this one have become a huge part of Ukraine's fight against Russia. But what we've seen today is something a bit different. It's engineers experimenting with slightly newer models, stuff like this that begins to look even more like planes or Shahed drones even. And I think you're also going to see this AI integration that we saw earlier begin to become a huge part of drone warfare. And I think it will also accelerate at an unprecedented rate in a way that maybe we can't even imagine now.